Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Star Maid. The video today is a short little thing where we watch this time lapse of me building a rather big, rather nice looking ship, and I ramble over the top of it. It's the usual HOC gaming style, what more could you ask for? So the ship today is based rather a lot on circles, because I, being me, like to do things that take an awful lot amount of time. Uh, this video is not only sped up, it's also cut out. There are significant periods of time in between building where I'm checking how to make circles for given radiuses, or radii, I suppose, for given radii of blocks, and that takes a rather amount, a rather lot amount of time to get right. So, the ship I'm building today is rather big battleship kind of thing, and I'm maybe doing a series on this, I'm thinking of maybe doing a series and building up a whole load of different ships and a space station and do rather big designs. Making circles is annoying, one of the things I've been trying and or thinking about trying to make is a sphere, which would be even more annoying, so you can imagine that's what I will spend time I should be sleeping doing. So yeah, this ship is called Apollo. I just called it Apollo. It's a completely arbitrary name, I just thought that ships are usually named after Greek mythology, so hey, first one that pops into my head. It's the also, also, Apollo starts with an A, and A, for those of you who don't know, is the first letter of the alphabet. <laughs> for those of you who don't know, A is indeed the first letter of the alphabet. So, if I make a ship if I make 26 different ships, I can name them after different names from Greek mythology that start with each of the letters of the alphabet. I'm assuming that actually exists, I'm assuming there are names for each of the ones, and if there aren't, we can make some up. Perfect. So, um, yes, me building ships in Star Maid, very, very cool. And, um, this perspective is of one game tab that I had open, and whilst I built it in another game tab, because it turns out you can play Star Maid two, many, many times. You can run a server by launching it once, then the second time you launch it, you can log in as a player to that server, and then the third time you launch it, you can log in as another player to that server. So I was able to get this nice outside, outside perspective, uh, which I was able to speed up without it looking too, ter too terrible. Words. Come on, words, don't fail me. I was able to speed it up without it making it look too terrible, um, so that we can get this nice time-lapse effect. Because if I recorded just the perspective of me building, it would be horribly flicked everywhere, all over the shop, um, if I were to speed it up to this rate, because this is roughly eight times speed. Anyway, so I've built my ship, and I was doing it all nice and symmetrical until this point. I'm now building, like four main front barrel cannons. In this video, I don't actually fill them with weapons. That is something I'm intending to do at some point in the future. But I'm thinking I have like two of them for antimatter cannons, and then one of them for missiles, and then one of, them, one of them for beam weapons, or something like that. I can vary it. But it's not just these that I will have for weapons and whatnot, because I do, in fact, build, in just a few moments, I'm going to build some um, side stalks. Here we go. So... Now extending these out from the corners of the circle, which is incorrect, because that circle... Actually, that circle has an awful lot of corners, because it really, really isn't a circle, is it? It just looks... just looks kind of circle-ish, you know? So, I don't know whether this actually improved the look of the design, but I wanted to have more extremities, so I thought I would just add these on. And yes, once again, these are going to be circles, and these are going to extrude... Um, quite nicely from the body of the craft. I could use these as like a landing base or something, couldn't I? The ship, the, sh the effective space within the ship really isn't very big. I didn't consider landing bays. I didn't consider the idea of having smaller ships landed inside it, like for fighters and things. Um, so I am actually just going to make these into kind of gun barrel things. But maybe, maybe I'll do an even bigger ship. Maybe I'll make a Death Star. Maybe I'll make a sphere out of cubes, which will be a pain to make. But I will do it because I am a dedicated little child. And I really quite like, um, I quite like Star Maid because of its symmetry option. You can set planes of symmetry so that what you build gets reflected as you have been witnessing happen this entire video. So really, I only have to build maybe just over a quarter of the ship. Um... Yeah, probably not even a quarter of the ship for it to turn out like this. And the good thing with circles is that even though they take ages to build, 
by the end of it you end up with something that looks pretty cool. Rather than putting in any artistic effort, I just had to put in time and dedication, which I can do. The artistic stuff I'm worse at, but I can do time, because I can just sacrifice sleep, so that's fine. And of course, the side of the ship has to have the name of the ship, which would be Apollo, but that's too many letters, so I thought I would just put Harv here instead. And... I have not made the classic mistake of reflecting this half over to the other side, because obviously once you reflect it, if you've built it in one way, you then reflect it to the other side, it's going to look wrong, it's going to be reflected, it's going to be impossible to read unless you can read reflected writing, which really isn't too difficult. So I don't know why I said it was impossible. So I'm just going to build them. God, I'm in a weird mood. I'm just going to build these things uh, on either side. And there we go, a nice black background to make the lights stand out. Turn the ship round and... Okay, I said I didn't make the mistake, I did in fact make the mistake. Ooh, you can just, you could, you could just see the ship core briefly then. Before I sealed it away beneath this black surface. And there we go. Quick as anything, we have another halve on the other side of the ship. And stretching out the main body of the craft like this allows me to uh, have nice p potential entrance points, you know? And finally, for the writing-wise, we have to make something at the back, obviously. Seeing this is my first ship, I'm going to call this the Harve V1. So forget the name Apollo, apparently. This is now the Harve V1. Maybe its subtitle is Apollo, who knows. But yeah, nice four lots of engines at the back there. Um, and now I can reflect the V1 over to this side. The big ring you can see surrounding the main body of the craft that I've got those extremities latching off of is made of power cubes. And I'm going to make that a lot bigger because the volume of the... The volume described by the power cubes is what determines the power production, I believe, if I have that correctly. And also apparently the way shield generation has... has um, been calculated has also changed, supposedly. What I'm building right now is shield generators, and what I'm building just then, those green glowy things are just power capacitors. But apparently the shield production algorithm has been changed, so just to be sure, I also put them in a sphere. Or not a sphere, but in a circle. I think my next ship has to be a sphere, doesn't it? Or maybe the one after that, or something includes sphere in the design, you know? Something like that. Anyway, just to finish off the ship build before I go, this is just a quick video. I'm going to put in some nice little hallways. Um, once I complete the ship, or if I ever complete the ship, it is intending to have like a quite nice interior, because there is some space inside that's just kind of narrow. Um, but for now, we just have this beautifully well-lit up hallways with a, um, a nice plex door at the back, so I can enter and exit the ship. Here is the ship in its entirety as it stands. I'm going to try and maybe finish it off at some point if I can be bothered. Otherwise, I'm just going to move on and create a new design. If you guys have any ideas for designs for how I should make it look, I know it's going to be difficult to describe in the comments, but do your best if you want me to maybe... If I see any good ideas, I might base a design off of that. I just wanted to show you what I've been working on. So, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Hi there, thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, then you may well enjoy some of the other stuff I do. There's Let's Plays, live streams every Sunday, and of course a variety of interesting gaming videos. Take a look, and don't forget that if you feel like it, you are welcome to support me over at my Patreon page. Big thanks to all my patrons. If you liked the video, please do like the video, and I will see you all next time.